YouTube, my Mid64, and today I'm remaking the chops. Reason is, I don't agree with that list. Barely any of the choices are choices I agree with nowadays. Also, this video has gotten 200 views. Thank you for the insane support. For someone like me, it's something special. So, with that being said, oh wait, no, made a mistake. This is my opinion. Now, let's go! Number 14, Tank. Powerhouses they are, but limited they are too. Tanks require MP in order to attack at all, but their MP caps off at 161, in addition to the quarrels they can start. Number 13, Thief. These are fast and help by stealing snacks and attacking for pretty good damage, as well as defend their team, but other jobs can do what the Thief can do, and do it better. Number 12, Princess. Royalty matters everywhere, offensively, defensively, and supportively. These things are done by the Matopian Princesses as well. However, said things can be done by other jobs, with some even doing it better. And the thief is pretty glassy. Number 11. Chef. Hackers and supporters. The chef drives supportively and offensively, but only on one target at a time and they can start quarrels, which is always bad. Number 10, Scientist. Magical attackers with tons of power behind them, and behind their eyes with some of their chemical improvements, but they don't have enough HP or defensive ability in general in order to range them higher, sadly. Number 9, Flower. They have tons of HP and also a pretty good amount of MP too. However, they don't have that much magic, which is crucial for them, Seeing as they're healers and magic attackers. Number 8, Health. This is the second glassiest job in the game, and that fact lets them use barriers and even create stuff. That alone puts them this high. They're also pretty good attackers too. The problem is again how that's how glassy they are. But nah yeah, they can do barriers, they're pretty good. Number 7, Cat. Look. I know that the job is broken and that their offensive potential is absolutely bonkers. The reason I put them at number 7 is because they are pretty glassy and usually one of the first ones to die. Although yeah, that doesn't matter, their offensive potential is absolutely insane. Number 6, Imp. Hold on, I put Imp at number 11? What was wrong with me? Anyways, where do I have to begin with this job? Except for the fact that they're pretty good magic attackers, I also have to say that they're the, basically the supporter of the attacker. They can cause defense down and or even hype someone, also known as excitement. That alone makes them broken. I really don't have to say much more. Number 5, Popstar. These are versatile supporters. They can grant their allies extern, restore MP, Grand enemy status effects like distraction and even do much much more They're really really good and you should have one on absolutely every single team you get Number four warrior <clears throat> These are very bulky yet very powerful Their power lets them leave holes and their max HP lets them stop holes from being left behind But their MP is something to be designed Number three Vampire. Sometimes, the best offense is a good defense, and that is definitely the case with vampires. Their curse is simple. Whenever they get hit by a physical attack, the enemy, that the, aka the attacker, takes back half the damage as recoil, and that is absolutely broken, as well as the fact that they are really pretty good attackers in their own right. Number 2, Clay. They are really amazing healers. With guaranteed revives even, but unfortunately they are pretty glassy. Number one, mage. They're really good attackers. They have the highest magic out of everything, which lets them cast fiend attacks fairly easily. While they can protect themselves with the barrier and heal their 
friends via putting them to sleep. Easy hypnosis, and yeah, they're pretty broke. Well, that's it.